Hello there, this is real data from a grade 12's internal assessments. What they did was take a magnet and they dropped it through a coil of wire and they changed the current running through the coil of wire and it takes a different amount of time to fall. It's really, really cool. And they record with a video with their camera phone in slow motion. And this is their data. They really had way more manipulations and they actually had 10 trials. I've reduced it to make it fit on one page and make it more reliable for us in grade 10. So there's about five trials, maybe only do three, that's okay. And we have current through the solenoid here. I already found the average because you can do that. The uncertainty in time, many of you found something similar last year. What we need to do to find the uncertainty in time is find the range. To find the range, we need to find the highest number minus the smallest number, that's the range, and the average is in the middle. So the uncertainty is the average to the minimum or the average to the maximum. So we need to find the range divided by two. The computer is gonna help us out here. So we're gonna type equals to find the largest number, the max, and then we type max, click max, and we select these. And then we go minus the minimum number and we select these same things. And then I need to say divide by two, but I have to be careful with my brackets because I need to have brackets for this whole thing. And then I say divide by two, and I get, I'm gonna click X right now, so I'm not confuse all these other numbers, 0 0.003, let's see that. Highest number is 0.175, lowest number is 0.169. So that range is 6, 0 0.006, half of that is 0 0.003, that makes sense. So I'm going to fill down and I'm going to label this as uncertainty in time. The symbol actually for uncertainty in time is um, option J gets a, a delta symbol on a Mac and that is meters per second on windows you can do a google search for delta and just copy and paste that now velocity so in order to find the answer in the velocity we need to do this first so that's helping you be organized velocity is going to be that the symbol for velocity is v our units are meters per second oops no they're not because it fell 14.7 centimeters. So we're working in centimeters. So that is okay. Centimeters per second. And we need to find the velocity. Velocity is distance divided by time. My distance is always the same. Your distance in this experiment is a bunch of different distances because that was part of your experiment. So your velocity would be different than mine. So you actually need to think and not just copy me, which is awesome and divided by the time. And then we go fail down, yes. I'd already played with the um, decimal places earlier. You normally you know, get a bunch, and a bunch is too much. So I'm just gonna reduce this to there for now, because our brain can handle that. The uncertainty in velocity, this is a new thing, and that's why you're watching this video. Uh, that will be delta V, so option J on a Mac. And this will be, uh, the units will also be centimeters per second. Now what we need to do is just equals for math. And it's going to be open brackets first. I'll explain it afterwards, just trust me. And we have the uncertainty in the distance, which is 0 0.1 centimeters in this case. You have your own uncertainty. Divided by the length, I'm going to type 14.7. You are going to click over here on your distance, probably. Maybe do something else with it. Um, plus the uncertainty in time divided by the average time. Now I close bracket and I'm going to multiply this by the actual velocity. If you get this far, I will happily tell you exactly what to click there and then we go fail down uncertainty remember should have one significant figure so i'm going to reduce this to one significant figure 
and uncertainty is the boss and the uncertainty should match this. So this also gets reduced to one significant figure. Excellent. Now we need to get this into Logger Pro. Let's see what we can do. Let's go to Logger Pro, new document here, and the X. The X is our independent variable. In your experiment, the independent variable is the tension. That's what goes on the X. In this experiment, it is the current. So I'm going to copy these currents and I'm going to paste them in here. And this is going to be current. The symbol for current is I, just trust me, and the units are amps. And I could just click done without going to because I'm going to add in the uncertainty for a current, which is plus my 0 0.01. Boom. Now we go to Y. Y is both in this experiment and your experiment is velocity. So I'm going to copy these velocities. I'll put them here. Double click on this. And uh, let's go here. This is velocity. Shortening V units centimeters per second. We get this. There's all up there. So I press this auto scale button. And we already have our air bars for current because I put those in already. These little circles we don't need anymore. I'll double click the graph and we'll turn off point symbols because we have wonderful air bars. If you have air bars, you do need to put in the symbols because the little dots are so hard to see. Now to get a certain velocity, it is different for each different point. So we can't just put in one value, but Logger Pro has us covered. So first we're gonna click here and make the graph a little smaller. Click here and make the table a little wider. We're going to come up to data and we're going to go new manual column and it's going to ask us for a name. We're going to call this uncertainty in velocity in velocity and short name. Uh, even Windows people, everyone, we got the letters here. We're going to go Greek uppercase and it's the Greek letter delta or for us A, B, C, D. Delta. Delta V. And our units are centimeters per second. And I'm going to paste in this. And when I paste this in, and nothing happens. What we need to do is tell this column to use this column for uncertainty and Logger Pro makes this so easy. Double click on velocity, click on options, error bar calculations, and instead of just putting in one number because it's different, we're gonna choose use column and we're gonna use uncertainty and velocity. And now we can see that this one is too long, that's too long, this is three long, too long, too long, too long, too long, and only one long, that's pretty cool. Hopefully you enjoy this. Take care and any questions, please ask.